In this chapter, we build up a use case to transfer all the theoretical background knowledge that has been built up in the previous sessions into an application example which is quite common. As target to be detected, a carton box is used. Sensing distance to detect the box will be 100 mm. In 300 mm, we will have a shiny metal surface which is representing the background. For this demonstration, we compare the GRTP18 background suppression version with the GRTE18 energetic 400 mm version. For both sensors, we will follow the adjustment procedure using the potentiometer. Attention! It is a common mistake to teach the sensor to the front edge of the target. Please teach in the target with some reserve, more precisely to the middle of the object. This will allow a safe detection even with shaking objects, conveyors or irregular surfaces. Now we move the carton out of the detection area. As you can easily see, the energetic sensor does not switch off. But why? Did we make a mistake? Actually, the answer is no. The reason why the energetic sensor is still on is that the shiny background is sending much more energy to the receiver of the sensor than the brown carton box at much closer distance. This means the sensor can't differentiate between the object and the background anymore. On the other hand, the background suppression version has no problem to detect the difference between the object and the shiny background. If you ever have a critical background or no background at all in your application, use a sensor with background suppression. If your background is defined with an adequate distance away from the object, best case would be even dull or dark and no subject to change, then the energetic version will also be an economic alternative.